Well, thanks for joining us today. Uh, I'm going to begin because obviously, you're, you know, you're here as a shooting star. It's very much about your career. But Southern Chronicles is the, the kind of film that they're using to kind of illuminate you. Um, I thought it was wonderful. It had a wonderful tone to it. It had a real kind of classic coming of age f approach and sort of feel to it. Uh, how thrilled were you when that script came in? Because it felt like a, the sort of role all young actors want to get. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, uh, when I first read the script, uh, I just knew that the role, the role is for me, that I'm going to get it, because um, there are just so many parallels uh, between my life and uh, the characters, and uh, it was just not possible for me not to get it. So, yeah. And, um, I mean, you sort of mentioned about the kind of parallels and stuff. I mean, it, it's... It, it was very accessible to anyone. I felt very nostalgic watching it because it takes you back to a time when you're kind of at school and you fall in love for the first time and all those kind of emotions and those um, complexities and conflicts you have. Um, how nostalgic was, and that's nostalgic for me as an audience member, how nostalgic was it for you as an actor to step back into that role and revisit maybe your own history in some ways? Yeah, it was it was truly a unique experience because I, I got a beautiful opportunity to reflect on my own past. You know, I just went back to to a really important uh, chapter in my life where some uh, you know some unexpected twists of fate uh, formed me who I who I am today. Yeah, and it was uh, it was truly amazing. Do, do you know the story? Should should I tell? It? Tell a little about my background. Yeah, no, 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 I, love, I don't know much about. I know. I, know, I love. I saw the movie, but I don't know a lot, lot about you. Yes. Yeah. So, so the thing about the character is that he falls in love with a girl, yeah. and then to get closer to her, he starts reading, he starts writing, he he really discovers himself uh, into art, and that that's what happened with me. Yeah, because I I um I was an athlete. I was certain that I'm gonna become a professional. But then a severe injury happened, and it completely changed the game. Mm. You know, I was I was completely lost. Mm. Um, I was praying to God to give me some directions uh, on what to do next, mm. but he he kept silent. So I started drinking, <laughs> started praying even more, mm. but he still kept silent. Yeah. So even more drinking, and then he heard my prayers. Mm. He sent me a beautiful girl, mm. uh, whose dream was to become an actress. Yeah. yeah. And to get closer to her, I involved myself into some school performances. Yeah, so that's how I got hooked on by the thrill uh, on, of being on stage, uh, by the dialogue uh, with the audience. And yeah, and there's a funny thing that um, the girl my character falls for in the movie is, uh, is portrayed by the same girl I fell for back in school. <laughs> yeah, so it really yeah. added some depth to, to the yeah. to the content to the yeah. to the film. Yeah. So I mean, but obviously uh, he obviously heard you eventually because you're a shooting star now, which is so exciting. <laughs> um, no, but it's, it's funny uh, you're sort of talking about getting close to. Do, do you know the band Maroon Five? Because from, from, uh, yeah. yeah, I don't really like them, but when I was about 16, I really fancied a girl, so I pretended I loved Maroon Five for so long. She bought me their CD, and you know? <laughs> I've, I think I've thrown it away since then. Um, but no, but yeah, I was going to ask too about being a shooting star and being from Lith sort of Lithuanian shooting star. Because you're not the first to have come from Lithuania to be a shooting star. A friend of mine. Easter, uh, who I know, who I've met a few times in London, is obviously there as well. Uh, was a shooting star as well. Um, did you have you spoken to any of the other sort of former Lithuanian shooting stars, or, and have you been excited by watching their careers blossom? Does it give you hope in the f in, in what the shooting stars event could do for you as well? Mm -hmm. um, uh, I actually haven't talked with uh, with Easter, mm -hmm. but I'm Jigimante uh, the the latest shooting star. Um, uh, we work together in theater. We have uh, we have some performances together. So um, her experience was uh, a little different yeah. because because of the COVID. Yeah. So lots of stuff happened only uh, only online. Um, but yeah, I'm 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 inspired by them. I um, I'm not a future teller. I don't know what what comes out of it. But um, right now. I'm just really enjoying the moment, and I think uh, I'll start reflecting on that when I when I come home. Yeah. I, mean, so I don't know if you've seen it yet because I know it's hard to watch everyone's movies, but Lakelands, so Aina's movie, yeah, it's about a sportsman who has an injury and has to reassess his sort of life. So that's worth seeing if you haven't seen that one yet. Yeah, yeah. Um, but my final question that I just wanted to ask, I mean, other other than 
the Shooting Stars is an, an, an awards, you know, it's, it's an award that you've been given as an acknowledgement um, and recognition for your, for your sort of work so far in your career. But it's more than, than just an award, it's an opportunity too. I just wondered if you could speak a bit about that side of this weekend, the casting and that sort of thing. So I think that we all see you on the red carpet and dressed up, accepting your awards, but there's more to this weekend, isn't there? Has it surprised you how much opportunity also comes from, uh, from this event? Yes, of course. Um, it's just a wonderful program. You know, I'm so glad that it's happening. It really opens up lots of opportunities because, you know, I'm just first steps to the industry. And I hear so many things around, so many advices, so many uh, really valuable insights. I'm just grabbing everything, put, putting to my pockets, you know, and um, uh, yeah, all the contacts that I made here, all the, all the new beautiful people I met. I think um, I think it will help me really in my in my future career, and um, yeah, I'm I'm really grateful and uh, and I'm glad for that. Mm. Yeah. And just very quickly, I mean the greatest, the most important contacts are the other nine shooting stars as well, which is great. Uh, well, thank you so much for speaking to us today, and hope you enjoyed the rest of your weekend. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. You're watching. Hey, you guys. Hey, hey you guys. <laughs> hey, you guys. <laughs> Hey, that's what they all say. Hey, you guys! Hey, you guys!